uh, we're back here on the B stream with uh, me, Powder, and uh, Manolite. Marketing manager. Marketing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have a pretty good game here. The deciding match of group uh, EF, it would be, I assume. Uh, Nimsh versus Asmodai. Um, we haven't gone into the game yet, but we can see they have Nimsh has Paladin, Druid, and Warrior. And Asmo has uh, Paladin, Druid, and Warrior as well. But oh, no, yeah. Warlock. Nimsh has Warlock, oh, not that's Warrior. A warlock. Yeah. Damn it. Um, so, I know I'd, I haven't really seen that many games from this group. I was practicing myself, um, but I'm pretty sure Asmo was playing a mid range paladin, regular druid, and a control warrior, I would assume. I'm not sure. It's actually, I if it's a warrior, right? Then, uh, then it should be like a patron warrior. You if think that's so? Asmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. He's well, a well known patron player. And we I will see because he's actually playing Warrior in the first game. So, yep. Warrior versus Paladin. Nims playing the Paladin and Osmo playing the Warrior. What's going on? Yeah, I'm trying to spectate the area. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can press it. No? If you press that button? They want to the You're already spectating him. Yeah. Oh, you're spectating Nimsh. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, guys. Well, we see uh, Nimsh is mulligan, at least. Uh, he has a pretty good start. I mean, you, you don't keep cheering against Warrior, yeah. but keeping Haunted and Shield in bot is definitely fine. And that's a curve. That is a curve. So I guess we will play with Nimsh, uh, like he sees it, for a little bit, and that's a good card too. I always want to see a Mysterious Challenger in hand, but definitely coin up Shield and Minibot here, it's pretty strong. Does more damage than Haunted Creeper, so you definitely want to get it out first. So we still can see uh, Asmodai's hand. Just gonna Slam! I mean, that's pretty common. We still don't know if it's uh, patron or... Yeah, I think... Control bot. Right, you definitely play the shield mini bot here, uh, instead of Haunted Creeper. It's a pretty good start. Yeah, I mean, that's what you want. So yeah, j we're just waiting to get the feed, so we know what Asmodai is actually playing. He needs to invite me to spectate. But that oh. seems like a pretty good uh, yeah. well, turn three play against mm -hmm. Paladin. Uh, I guess it is a patron since we see the Yeah, it's definitely it. patron. You're not going to play <laughs> frothing in a control warrior duck. That would be weird. But shield mini bot, shield mini bot into muster. And we see that he top deck Doctor Seven. That's a good. Curve, damn. Doctor Boom. He's just missing the Tyrion. I mean, might come, might come. We'll see. It's gonna come for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to cast when you don't know what the other cards in the hand are. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the thing. So we'll see. So what he wants in his hand, Despite, he probably would have played that pretty quickly. So he might not have it. Uh, patron Whirlwind, Inner Age. Oh, the client is bugging. Whirlwind Taskmaster. Not bad either. But Piloted Shredder on curve. Pretty darn good. Mm hmm. Okay, so you go out of the game, exit the game. We'll be right back, guys. So, gonna Sorry for the slight technical. Oh, there we go. There we go. We have both hands now. 
And he top deck loathed it on fire. That's pretty good. That um, pretty good. We see that Osmo is missing the weapons. He's missing the patrons. Uh, but, I mean, two shredders. It's, I mean, it's pretty sticky. But he's really going to have a hard time against the Mysterious Challenger and the Dr. Boom. Yeah, as long as Nimsh still has some minions on the board. It's That's kind of interesting, not trading with the 2-2 uh, two -two here with your Shredder. It allows him, it allows Asmo to trade with the Lothab. And we see a Despite picked up, which I assume is ga getting played this turn. You could play Shredder and Armor up, but... I think you want the death bite. So you death bite the four three and then attack the other two into the Lothab, depending depending on what comes out of the shredder. Yeah. Well, using death bite is also setting up for a possible patron top deck next. That's turn. good. That's what he wanted to see. That's really what he needed. Taking less damage. Paladin has no way. I. They do have. Uh, what's the card called? The plus four, plus four. Blessing of Kings, yeah. Blessing of Kings. He's gonna go face? Ooh, he's not scared at all. Damn. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's fine. Well, I don't think the rope is legit, so. <laughs> okay, spec that client, GG. But Nimsh is thinking here. Um, we do not have a rope coach here. <laughs> no. Something's bugged. But it's, I mean, it's a definite mysterious challenger turn. I think he, he might be thinking about where he's going to attack, but I would I would be surprised if he doesn't attack face. Yeah. Damn. I also need to point out that uh, I was okay, watching Nim's uh, previous game, so he only plays one of each secret. So that's all of the secrets he has. Yeah, so it's going to be Avenge, Noble Sacrifice, and I guess it's going to be Competitive Spirit. Competitive Spirit, yeah. Yep. All right, like that. <coughs> so, there was no patron pickup from Hazmatai. He's going for the frothing berserker play. Okay. It's gonna be a big frothing berserker. Oh so yeah. I don't, I don't disagree with that. He's definitely hoping that the uh, Avenge hits on the either. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's the Lothab or the Mysterious Challenger. He's gonna execute one of them as, as long, long as, as it's not the egg. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's the best one for him. Now we can actually attack face, um, kill the Lothab with the Shredder, Shredder and then yeah. execute the Mysterious Challenger. Let's see what he gets. Any minion is fine. That's oh actually... Damn. Oh, wow. That, that is, is so good. Wow. That He's might actually man. win him the game. Nimsh really needs something to answer this. I guess that works. With the redemption, it's actually pretty good. Very good. The problem is he can't kill the... If he could have killed the mana wraith with the... The egg, that would have been even better, but I mean, there's no other play here. Muster, muster kills you. So right. Sludge Belcher yeah. is actually a fantastic pickup. But there's still a lot of ways. Uh, sh sh should he attack? Should he proc the egg, or should he just go face? No, no, Not you don't. You don't want to give the uh, frothing berserk game yeah, more attack. Yeah. attack. Because there's still going to be ways of. Uh, Asmo getting lethal through the sludge belcher. I, I don't I disagree with this. Hmm. Oh. The only problem I could see is that if he thinks it's red Hmm. I don't know. I would have That's a weird attack. Yeah, I if I had gone and attacked I would have probably went for the Wraith. But I guess Nimsh has something else else planned. So oh there's there's the patron. There's the patron. See? And Not <laughs> really gonna do anything this turn. You can keep the. He needed. He needed like a whirlwind would have killed Nimsh. A. Another inner rage would have killed Nimsh. Mm -hmm. hmm. So what do you do here? You can still keep the the frothing alive if you attack with your death bite. 
You mean fireworks? Yeah. Oh, fireworks, exactly. And then you oh. could play patron, I guess. There we go, redemption. That is so good. Oh yeah, he couldn't. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, he couldn't have. At least I completely forgot about the redemption. Yeah, me too. Robin so would have been pretty good. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm guessing he's gonna patron and inner rage. Because yeah. there's no way to deal with it on board. But he d decides to oh. go with the Shredder. I mean, it's safer in a lot of ways, so I don't yeah. disagree with that either. He, just got the he did top deck the Concentration as well, so this was definitely the better play in this scenario. So, Dr. 8? Huh? <laughs> Dr. 8. I mean, it seems like a pretty easy play here. The other three cards don't do really do that much. Uh, I guess there is some value in Muster that you can kill the Mana Wraith without having to dispense of one of your two minions on board. You get well, more minions, but it's pretty weak to like uh, he a uh, whirlwind. So yeah. Well, the problem is, I mean, uh, Asmodee has potential lethal next turn if the board doesn't get cleared if he top decks Gromash. So. Well, the mana right. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he wants to keep his taunt alive, which is Oof, well definitely nice. fine. Seems pretty grim here for Asmo. Mm. Um, I mean, he can play everything, but does it save him? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Yeah. He can consecrate and then hit with boom and the four two. Maybe the patron. Yeah, may maybe the. I mean the. Uh, the shredder can save him here, I guess. <laughs> he's gonna attack into the one two and then kill off the four two. So. What can he get? He's not dead. He's not dead yet. From the shredder, right? Ah, that's not the best. Yeah. That should do it, I guess. Consecrate. He's on nine. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten. Uh, yeah, he's on twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, it should be lethal. As long as one knife hits the face out of three. And it has to. <laughs> or the bomb. I mean, doesn't have to, but. Well, yeah. I mean, there's no nothing else it can hit right now. Well, yeah, it's it there's gonna be a three-three uh, patron. And there's gonna three be a three one patron, so. But I mean, you have to go for it. No outcomes is re is really that bad for you, so. Mm. It's like if knives go completely into the other patron, but you still win, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Damn. Ooh. That's like bad. <laughs> well. He goes for it board. now, which is kind of weird. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's life. Yeah. So, Nimsh takes the first game. Yeah, takes and it with Paladin. Yeah, and it eliminates the Patron Warrior. Yeah, that, that might actually be a big problem for us, mm. Madai, because Patron is kind of known for being the counter deck to, uh, to Paladin, so he has uh, Druid and Warrior, Druid and Paladin left, so Druid is a Normally a pretty bad matchup, uh, and Paladin is probably the mirror, or which is pretty close to 50-50, no matter, no matter what you do. But you do have to go for the Paladin, Paladin mirror here. Hmm. So we see Nimsh here, probably not going to keep any of his cards. There is some merit in keeping Avenge, maybe, mm. um, just to have a turn one play, but you do want to fish for Consecration, you want to fish for Muster of Battle and a two drop, so. Yeah, and well, he only runs one copy of it, so I it's best if he just uh, gets it. Yeah, yeah for sure. We see that uh, Asmodee basically has exactly what he wants. Yeah. He doesn't have Muster or Consecration, which is two of the best cards in the matchup, but when you have coin two drop into two drop into. Three and four, yeah. Ooh. He throws away the knife Damn. juggler. Not sure about that one. I mean, it's never that good on two, uh, just because it gets traded so often and so easy. But I think 
It was worth it in this scenario where you can coin out. He doesn't decide to coin it out either. Mm. Well, I do kind of agree with that when you only have... When you have nothing. Oh, he plays equality. Yeah, he's playing a more mid-range... <laughs> mid-range-y... Uh, Paladonger. Nimsh picked up the muster, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, muster seems pretty good. You can pop the pop the shield with your with your weapon, and then next turn finish it off with one of your one ones. Allows you to go face with your with your haunted creeper. You don't want to pop it right now. Ooh, Ooh. Silence, Ow. pretty good. Mm. When he's gonna play Blessing of Kings next yeah. turn, it's pretty good. But you're gonna play uh, Coghammer here every time. Oh, this is so good. Like, he yeah. gets to keep the, both the minion and has yeah. the divine shield. Definitely the right sequencing there. But it, like I said, it is gonna die to the weapon and the 1 1. Uh, but the question is do you play Haunted Creeper Hero Power or do you Blessing of Kings the Haunted Creeper? He's going to get super punished if oh he decides yeah. that Blessing of Kings is the right play. But even if he decides to play something like Haunted Creeper, Hero Power, he's kind of giving up the tempo because Asmodai can then play some bigger 4-drops, maybe a 5-drop if he decides to coin it out. Oh, okay. So he's not going for the Haunted Creeper play. Okay, oh. Blessings. He played around the... He's playing around... Silence, which I do like. Um, it's a pretty, pretty nice play there. I might have been tempted to play it on the shred, uh, on the creeper, just, just because it's so much value, but that gets super punished by Al. Oh yeah, he probably knows the opponent's deck by now, so he, I guess he played around that. Yeah, card. most people play Al and Paladin nowadays. It's pretty standard. Mm. I do, however, like playing the. The zombie chow here instead of the hero power. You could even coin out the hero power just to get one more minion on board. Your curve is basically not relying on coin anymore. You're gonna play a five drop next turn anyways. If you don't top deck anything, you're gonna play shredder hero power. So I wouldn't mind seeing a hero power here just to get a one one that contests. Because he almost for certain knows that he's gonna use the. Um, Yep. His weapon to clear the go. owl. So, yeah, a 1 1. Hmm. That's pretty good. You can just. Uh, no, you don't You don't use truce over here. Oh, what do? Well, you still. Haunted Creeper and Zombie Chow, yeah. You still have your, your uh, hero power killer. And a pretty good. I mean, it's not the best turn, but. Playing three stuff, like playing two minions and hero power is fine. The, the sludge belcher is going to be pretty hard though, and there's a consecration yeah. for whenever Nimsh fins fills the board. So I'm yeah, like a mysterious challenger, possible mysterious challenger next turn. That would be yeah. like devastating if he hadn't uh, picked up the combo. Um, Asmo seems pretty happy right here. His hand is very reactive uh, with two good minions, so. It's looking pretty good. I mean, Sludge Belcher seems like the easy play here. You could, in some world, maybe play the Shredder, but I don't really see why. Mm. And you can kill off whatever you want. If it's that's killing off the one ones, killing off the Zombie Chow. I guess it's gonna be the one ones. That's what I would do. Um, yeah, if he has a mysterious challenger, it could. Yeah, I, I like keeping the weapon as well. Now Nimsh has a choice what he wants to do. Two, three, four. He has five damage, but True Silver seems pretty good here. That sludge pillager soaking up four damage. That's Still has the jo zombie chat to regenerate HP. Yeah, I mean, he's not scared. Mm -hmm. Um, Alright. Oh, second Consecrate. Second That's Consecrate. Big. That might make him want to use it now, but I don't think he will. Oh. Oh. He might. Well, with this attack, you're definitely going to Consecrate. Mm -hmm. I would like to just see the Shredder and kill the... 
kill the Samicho with the weapon, but it's it's definitely a better play now that as that Nimsh only has a uh, uh, he has a true silver instead of the one one the one four weapon, mm. because now he doesn't want to trade into any of these these minions. So I I see the consecrate play there. This is going to be a doctor boom for sure. Yeah. As we can see, Asmodee does have an answer. So yeah, he has two answers. He could equality, but that doesn't seem as good as playing a three drop and a four drop. I think what he's thinking to himself is how he's going to deal with these boom bots. Mm -hmm. oh. It doesn't really matter because he has two minions. He can always clear one with the face if... Uh, if the boom bot kills the zombie chow here. So, I mean, he's, he's pretty happy. And it goes face for three. All right, so he decides with his attack that he wants to, he values his, his weapon higher than uh, a 50-50 chance of keeping a 2-1, which is gonna die to the the Doctor Boom anyway, so I agree with that. Mm. That's a pretty good minion. You can you can do like last game, you can redemption it. Uh, which is probably one of the better targets for redemption yeah. after Tyrion. Uh, gets the gets the death rattle back, so basically getting a three one and a one two for free. But it is kind of, I mean, it, that also fills up your, your mana very efficiently with the hero power for the perfect 8 mana play. Yeah. Um, I don't really see any other really good play here. I guess you could Redemption. Mm. You could Shredder, Shredder Redemption, redemption but that's yeah. just, just, just not as good because then you miss the hero power as well. Yeah. So he decides to go with the Sludge Belcher. Yeah. I like killing the the four three here. But he decides to kill the kill the elder instead. I don't know about that, but so are we maybe really gonna matter. see like a equality, equality consecrate? consecrate? Yeah. So, but yeah, in this case, Doctor Boom would get resurrected with the redemption because he no, he he would board. if he if he decides to go with equality consecrate, he would equality attack into oh, the yeah. oh yeah 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 into the sludge, so the sludge spawns as well, and then you can kill off everything. So you were left with a 4-2. Yeah, that, that's the best play. But if he were to use it, use the... The, the only thing that equality, this, this equality is super mm. low value. Oh, he's checking, I guess, what the secret is. I mean, um. checking or checking, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't think he's gonna use the equality consecrate here. I, yeah. I wouldn't. It's too low value. Now he might th rethink that though. Hmm. But no, I agree with this. Just playing the minions. Ooh, that can be good. Mm -hmm. A way of clearing one once at least. So I think you play Paladin Shredder, Cog Hammer, and then Hero Power. You do actually want to get. The on the shredder, yeah. I'm pretty sure, or yeah. the three one, but you can't. There's no way you can. Uh, like you can take the twenty five or the twenty percent chance. Uh, twenty five, or if he attacks here, the thirty three percent chance of getting it on the three one. But I would rather play the shredder and have a fifty fifty on a good minion. Yeah. Than a thirty three percent chance. Oh, but he does go. get it. Sometimes lucky. <laughs> But as soon as he plays the Shredder here, I'm pretty sure it's going to get consecrated. Yeah, most likely. I mean, surely. It's still, it's still kind of low value equality consecrate, though. Well, depends on his draw. Ah, That's a big game hunter. Pretty bad. A I little bit too late there. Yeah. Don't think I guess you can consecrate without the equality as well. Yeah. And then that's fine. Kill off the shredder. Play hero power. You don't play the big game, I guess. 
That's it does contest. Oh, oh, he has a cog hammer, so of course you don't play the big game hunter. Mm. So oh. Nims basically just needs to top deck something, something decent, and he's it's like basically now it's whoever top decks something good. Like a Tyrion, yeah, would be awesome. I don't know why he plays the big game here. Mm. It just gets killed, and uh, oh, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, he used both. He just used the second so, yeah. cons. It's gonna get wrecked. Hmm, what does Asma need? Tyrion? Yeah, pretty much. Tyrion or Dr. Boom, something big. Even a Sludge Belcher would work uh, mm. work fine. Against this board, yeah. But he needs something above uh, above 5 mana. 5 or above. If he gets a Zombie Child, that would really suck for him right now. I mean, it does clear 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> Knife Knife juggler. Juggler. That's not it. Well, it can I mean, it's okay if he he had something with it, but it's definitely not what he wanted to see. And he needs this to clear 1-1. One, one. Well, it will. I mean, he could have hit the 1-2. Well, yeah, 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 I know. But does Let's clear see. two minions. Just, oh, uh, oh. That's really good for Asmo. Yeah. Really good for Asmo. He could play the Aldor here uh, just to get it on... On the board, mm. I, I would I would like to see it actually. But then he doesn't really have an answer. For yeah, but he knows that Asmo's deck is bigger than his. Uh, he has bigger stuff, so he needs to kill him pretty fast. He should play the zombie out here. Yeah, it's too damaged, so it's looking. It's it's the same. You need something oh. big. Oh, oh, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Now Esmo is laughing inside. <laughs> Them shaking his head. He does not like that one. No, that that was the perfect top deck right there. Yeah. Let's see if he gets that his own tier. Nope. Knife juggler. Oh, he could potentially clear the divine shield with it. So yeah, but it doesn't. It's like, it's not only the divine shield. No, that's the yeah. problem. Ah, he yeah, gets it. He gets it. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It, he has so many 1-1s, one it's like the same thing yeah. as anything else. Well Let's see the next juggle. Asmo's hoping for face. Nope. Two pretty good juggles there. Yep. He gets the weapon, but the weapon doesn't do that much on this board. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. There it is. Asmo die. With the top decks. I mean, his deck is pretty... Pretty top-heavy, I would I would assume, if he's playing mid-range Paladin. So there are a lot of stuff he can uh, he can top deck. Yeah, like a challenger would be quite okay. As long as he doesn't start top decking the secrets. I guess. Does Asmodai actually play challenger? I don't think so. I think it's mi like full mid range. Oh, no, uh, oh yeah, yeah Nimsh. Nimsh. Yeah. Okay. Is he not gonna attack? That seems a little bit weird. It's yeah. like the the one two can only clear. Ooh. Well, it's not that good because he would lose his. So he killed here. a three three. I guess you just play muster here. The five five. The five one weapon doesn't really matter that much. Does he value it? I think he does. Like, what does it kill? Kind of greedy though. Yeah, it. it mm. It's for three one ones or five one weapon. It's it's definitely a hard choice. I mean, it's not very. It's not super simple. But, I mean, it it should kill anything that he yeah, Nimsh plays any next turn. But Muster seems a lot better, especially when you have a quality in hand. Equality is good with your weapon and your 1-1s. One mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There's the... Called it. <laughs> Nimsh is happy. But I, I'm i pretty sure that he, like, uh, only has has two secrets left. Or maybe potentially three. He played Redemption. That's yeah. the only one. Then it's three. Then it's three. I mean, wh what more do you want? Yeah, of course. It's, it's like the 
one of the best things he could have possibly drawn right now. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. I mean, Tyrion would have been a lot better, but... Uh, now he has a higher chance of actually getting the Tyrion because he removed... Yeah, he removed three cards from his deck. And that that's a pretty good card as oh well. Oh, man. Murloc There's Knight. The Ooh, that seems a little bit greedy. Murgle, Murgle. I mean, he's getting five life back. Uh, there's no tar. He could have actually taken one less damage there. Let's see. Where the event? Or could he actually? He needs to kill five minions. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't matter. He's gonna yeah, get a quality in anyways. Yeah, he could have taken one one less damage. Uh, in this case. Let's see. Is I would have liked to see him play. Uh, Play the Murloc Knight first before. Oh, it's a charger. Depending on which one. Yeah, the see? The good one. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he could have kept a 1 1 here. That's actually really important here. When he top decked Lothab, like the charger is actually gonna. Okay, that's a s great top deck as well. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, there's the quartermaster. Is that I think lethal? This game is pretty much. Sure. Five. De five Nine, over yeah, right it's now. it's lethal. Yep, it's exact. Yep. Oh, it's one over actually. Two pretty good. Uh, oh, oh, he missed lethal. He missed lethal. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Asmodai missing lethal. I'm pretty sure he just noticed. Yeah, but there's for sure nothing noticed. Nimsh can do, so doesn't matter. He still wins, but. Mm -hmm. Oh. Nymph had pretty bad draws there on the top deck wars. I mean that's so the problem with Secret Paladin though. You play a lot of a lot of things that isn't that good. Yeah. Yeah. Like Twitch chat says, it's only extended BM. And this is Asmo that we're talking about. Of course it's <laughs> BM. <laughs> so one one here. So uh, what do you think he's gonna queue up next? He has Warlock and Druid. I would assume Warlock, but I I heard it's like a combo lock. It's like a oh. weird warlock, at oh least. Yeah, yeah, I saw that there, there was like uh, two power overwhelming and uh, Nerubian X. But that should be decent against Paladin, I guess. Mm. If it's like if it's Dank Steed, it's pretty good. Oh. I don't think it is though. I I, 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 I haven't seen it. Oh, he's gonna go Druid. Damn. So he definitely doesn't like the warlock matchup. It is aggro Druid though, which is a little bit better, but it's still not that good against Paladin. Against Midrange Paladin, I'm not actually sure how that matchup is, but definitely not against Secret Paladin. Secret Paladin and I guess Midrange would be better against this deck, since it plays two Eldors. Mm -hmm. And Eldor, it just destroys Fel Reaver. Yeah, yeah, it does. And he also does play the big game Hunter, so... We do see that Asmodai's hand is pretty good. He is missing the the removal for Foul Reaver. Um, mm -hmm. But he'll hopefully draw into something. Uh, Nimsh has a lot of a lot of things he needs to get from the from the mulligan here. Do you even keep swipe against Midrange Paladin? I'm not even sure. Um, I don't I think so. Yeah, maybe. Oh. That's, that's, that's a little bit good. better. Yeah, yeah. The coin Darnassus is gonna do some work. Mm. Um. Oh damn! That mini bot. That's like the perfect hand for Paladin. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty fantastic, actually. Guide my so well, he doesn't really have a turn three, so it's not really gonna do much work. I guess. That's what I. I mean, it does clear the mini bot, I guess. Yeah. And I guess that's that is your play here. Hero power down the shield. Uh just kill it. kill it. Yeah. He does have the He does have the muster though. Yeah. So a little bit unfortunate for Nimsh, but He can play two pretty good minions next turn, but there's the consecrate as well. Man. He has everything. He's on roll. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it all. He just needs a big game big game hunter in there. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's no fell reaver, so well oh there right. is the Doctor Boom. Oh. The Doctor Boom on five is gonna be pretty, pretty huge here. Yep, yep. But I, I would assume. Oh, it's only three mana. I forgot about yeah. the. He lost a mana crystal from yeah. the Darnassus Asper. So I guess he just goes for the stealth right now, or yeah, 
I mean, I mean, you have to, right? You're gonna swipe next turn no matter what, so why not stealth? Yep. He's thinking about it. Like there is maybe he he might have been thinking about uh, innovating oh. out the truth of the claw. <laughs> oh, there's the big game. Okay. There it is. This yeah. is pretty game over, I guess. Pretty much, yeah. We'll see. There could be some. I mean, you can only big game hunter one thing. So if there, if there's, druid always has a chance to win. So it's druid. Druid does druid things. Let me think. Four mana. You have a four mana card in your hand. Yeah. I that's a minion and a four mana card. That's a spell. Ah. I guess he's maybe considering consecration. Damn. He actually is gonna do it. Damn. I, I can definitely see this because yeah, he would have cleared. If he if he thinks that every druid is gonna keep swipe in their opening hand, it's pretty likely that they're gonna have it. Mm. Uh, so if you play Shredder, it's gonna get swiped every time. This, this just saves you a lot of life. So I mean, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. Not saying I would do it myself, but I I, I can agree. Knife, knife. Hmm. But I guess you just swipe, right? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Knife, knife what clears, kills one. It puts. Uh, it's tough. It's tough because if the knife misses, he can clear both both the knife jugglers on board. But I mean, it's a pretty low chance that the knife misses. Oh, look. Yeah. Yeah. That's and he, I guess when you're playing against mid-range paladin, you'd kind of need to swipe there. Yeah. It's like a bad habit when you you played so many secret paladins that uh, you don't you don't uh, play around I quartermaster. We're gonna see a doctor seven now, in turn five, hmm. or maybe just go with the. I mean, when you have innervate and you have doctor boom, it's so tempting. Yeah. It's so rarely not the right play. We are. But this is gonna to get it. destroyed. Oh yeah, punished. Asmo is so happy right now. Mm hmm. I mean, it would have been better if you like. The best thing for him would have been a been to see a uh, Fell Reaver there, but he's pretty mm. happy with Doctor Boom as well. Yeah, so I like this. He did waste two don't don't clear. I don't think you clear the bomb here. You do the face damage. You clear one bomb with your face. Play. You could even knife juggler, but I like the hero power better, since you have. Uh, Ooh, Ooh. Four damage. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Never lucky. Ooh. Now he can... He can double juggler Lepronome. Uh. That's probably better than Druid of the Claw. It does depend a little bit on the bomb, though. If the bomb hits the... 4-2. Yeah, the big game hunter, it's definitely better than Druid of the Claw. No, tr no question. Well, that's a... 25% chance. And then you have to hit, so it's... Not that high. So I do like this. Hmm. Okay, so it gets two juggles here. Something is gonna die. Something must die. There's okay, one. There's one. Oh. oh. Close. So now 25. Okay. Oh, and it, and it did. Okay, that's fine. But. Asmo didn't top deck a consecrate, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Dr. Boom is probably even better. Yeah. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe not. Consecrate would have been pretty insane. Well, what if, like, uh... Like, had a innervate Force of Nature Savage or that would be pretty much lethal with two knife jugglers on the board. It is lethal. Yeah, so... <laughs> even, uh... Even just Savage for here is a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Five, nine, eleven... 12 with hero power. See, this is a bit tricky, because if he puts the Shredder down, uh, you know... I would assume he's going to play Shredder, maybe even Savage um, Roar. Shouldn't he attack before? I mean, he, he gets 6 value in. Yeah, I, I would go for their face. He, he just needs to race right now, I think. He definitely is not, he's not trading anything. Yeah, yeah. But the question, th the bigger question is, do you Savage Roar here, do you save it? I would say it Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you're ever going to get this much value in. 
That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a little bit unfortunate. A <laughs> little bit. Slight, <laughs> slightly unfortunate. And just go face. Yep. But he can still win the game. Oh. Uh, oh, never mind. Wow. Never mind. Asmodee with the top deck. He's fucking killing it. Don't swear on camera, man. Oh. It's just well you know. played. All right, so you you see definitely see where the where the boom bot hits, and then you taunt up. Not the best target, but because it's fine. My for I'm pretty sure you need to kill the life juggler here. It does depend on though if you can kill him in two turns, which he. Definitely can, I would say. Eight, mm -hmm. so he is on 12. I mean, basically, no matter what happens, I think... I think Asimo can kill him in one turn. Unless uh, we see a Doomsayer. Which is highly unlikely, but hey. I would actually attack face here. Yeah. It's the... It's very unlikely. Like, there, there are possibilities where going face will kill you. Like if it was swipe and well, I, I would kill you anyways. So no, I like the face. The face attack is definitely right. I think face is the place. Play hard, top deck hard. Asmodai's motto, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Will we be seeing the doomsayer? Is it just a legend? I guess it's that. That's what he's going for. Ooh, oh, weird face. face. Damn, he wants to live. Okay. I don't know what he's planning on top decking that does 5 damage. Um, Starfire. Starfire. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. That's like the only thing, right? <laughs> I think so, yeah. With Druid of the Claw. Um, hmm. Maybe like... Uh, uh, oh. He plays wow. double, double Defender. Argus. Wow. Was there any top deck that would have killed him with just one taunt? I'm not I'm sure. Not sure. You know Definitely not shade though. <laughs> so now he's going for it. Is it? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. I, can see. I am a little bit surprised that he went for, for the uh, for the druid instead of the warlock. Yeah. Well, didn't didn't work hmm. out. Let's see. So it's just a uh, warlock left, right? Yeah, just warlock. And I'm I'm pretty rare. sure it's something a little bit strange, um, but I don't know what. Surprise, surprise. Uh -huh. Surprise, surprise. With the double power overwhelmings and stuff, you know, anything is possible. <laughs> anything is possible. Uh, okay, <coughs> so we get into the game here. So let's see what it is. Seems like demon lock so far. Mm. That's okay. Okay. So it's some sort of demon demon deck. Uh but like why I would think this would be pretty good against Paladin. But I guess and I, I mean I don't I don't know what deck it is, so hmm. Alright. Defender heal bot. Just seems like some sort of anti aggro hand lock, demon lock. So, why wouldn't you play this against Pelon? Yeah. Well, Morganis. Asmod does really have a, a good hand, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, he has the the two cards you want against bigger minions. Uh, he I don't know if. He, I mean, he obviously knows what he's playing, so he kept. He kept Aldor, which is always a good keep against like basically a lot of a lot of bigger decks, mid-range decks. But definitely Imp Gang boss here. Um, mm. Tapping seems it seems very greedy when you have a minion that can contest so well uh, against the knife juggler, like even through Cog Hammer. Like this Imp Gang boss is gonna do really well. 
Yep. Oh. I was kind of expecting him to... Uh, to trade? No, yeah. it, it, trading just kills your knife juggler. Well, yeah, and he would get the more value from the mortal coil. Yeah. Now he, he needs the mortal coil. Ah, that would have been sick. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> mortal coiling is pretty good here. But at least he keeps the imp gang boss, so... Yeah, I mean, mortal coiling is definitely a no-brainer. Uh, he doesn't need the mortal coil value when you have life tap. That's the big, biggest thing. Yeah. Now you actually have to think, though. Hmm. What do you do? In okay, that made that made your play very much e easier. Yeah. yeah, you just attack, attack, play mortar coil, play imp gang boss. boss. I guess it depends a little bit on what comes out of the shredder, but oh, I mean you can you can do this also. I I don't I don't I can see this too. It's kind of risky against the uh, consecration. Yeah. Nah, it's okay. This this just means you're gonna mortar coil next turn. It's a little bit worse just because he has a two mana, a, a two attack weapon. So that's why I would have played the Imp Gang box for sure. But he really needs a uh, Void Caller. Rutner Rubian Egg. Yeah, there it is. Wait, what? <laughs> no, it, it's just it spectator bug. <laughs> <laughs> two heal box. A three two. Oh. Interesting. I don't think you go for the Hellfire. No. Just there's gonna be way more value for Hellfire than this in mm. this matchup. So I'm pretty sure you just play Imp Gang Boss. Mm. You could play the Nerubian uh, just to set up for Hellfire next turn. But maybe that. What? Nerubian and tap? Yeah, tap Nerubian. Uh, yeah, it, and, it uh, and, be and attack in with your. Uh, well, I, I guess you don't actually have to ta attack in. You could leave it up, but. Uh, because the Belcher is the Belcher is always gonna trade. That sets up a sets up a pretty good Hellfire. If you do this, do you attack? The answer is apparently yes. Hmm. That zombie chow is not really good right now. This is gonna be a sick Hellfire. Oh yeah, if he decides to go for. Uh, I mean, the only play here is Muster, Hero Power, Zombie Chow. That seems like, mm. even though you know he's running Hellfire, I'm pretty sure that's basically the only play, right? Mm. I mean, you you definitely Muster. I mean, he might be super scared of Hellfire and yeah. things. I, mean, I, I, I don't, I don't need to play it. I can wait, so I can just go face, not even attack the, attack the guy, just leave it up, mm. and he can react to my cards. I mean, if if Nimsh is just playing like, a lot smaller minions than I think he is, like this play is definitely fine. Like in my mind, he can get punished here, but. I don't know what cards Nimsh is playing. And with his hand, this play is so much better. He's got all the fun. He can still Hellfire, and the Hellfire is still pretty good. Like that's why I really like this play from Asmodai. Yeah. This 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 play was super good from Asmo, just hero powering. Because it baits out the Hellfire and yep, then yep. he can do it next turn. So that's that was that was really well played. And that's exactly what he was thinking. He's nodding his head. Really well played. And now he can muster. Muster Aldor, I guess. Maybe not Aldor, because the mm. cause the four the one four would actually just kill off your one ones anyways. Uh so you don't have to Aldor here, it, but it puts out a three three body, which I guess he wants. You're a little bit sad that your two of your one ones is gonna die though, but yeah, th there's the power of roaming. Do you think uh, Nimsh potentially runs like two Hellfires in his deck? I would think so. I I don't think every every warlock should be running two Hellfire in my opinion, but maybe not Sue. That would be a really good Hellfire right now. He needs uh, he needs. I mean he's gonna tap for sure. Stay alive, even a Shadow Flame. He nice. needs something. Yeah. Ooh, Abusive Sergeant is not that something. 
guess he, he needed just... like a void caller. Like he has three big demons in his hand, yeah. but he can't play any of them. It's very unfortunate. So yeah, he needs to heal up. And yeah, okay. Quarter must have lost a lot of value there. Second Aldor, not really what he wanted to see. He wanted a big minion, but Quartermaster is still fine. Yeah. Um, he can just trade the board. You definitely, you definitely trade in your your Sawmill out here, right? Maybe he might. He's playing against combo lock, so he might be valuing his life as well. So I. I What? He's scared of dying? Yeah. No, this this is not the right. Oh, never lucky. It doesn't matter. Like that that's just a play to stay. That's just a play. That's just a misplay, I would say. Like playing the void caller there's it's just so much better. Like maybe in his mind he might be like, "Oh, if I play if I play void caller and play anti kill bot next turn, I just can't die." And then I can spawn one of my stuff, but it's just a play to lose. Those Arguses are really good. Blessing of Kings, sorry, not Guardian of Kings. <laughs> I'm, I'm retarded. I'm gonna start putting the defenders as well in my deck. Damn. It's a little bit uh, reactive. I mean, if you don't have any minions, okay. defender is pretty bad, but. So, hmm. In this case, the defenders of Argus have been pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Saved them last time. But now you just don't have a play. Like, this just isn't a good Wait, play. Caller and heal by, yeah. This it's just isn't the only thing. It's not a very good play. Yeah. He needs to top deck something. He needs to, he needs a Hellfire, or, oh, or he oh, needs a oh, 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 oh. Dr. Yeah. Boom. It's pretty good. So you kill the 3-3, three, three, play Dr. Boom, go face. You definitely don't trade. I guess you could trade with the... That's the worst one. But you can Eldor it, it's fine. Yeah. You can Eldor it. That's why I, I don't know. I don't think I would have traded there. Just let him trade on his terms. Like if he has Shadow Flame, he's always gonna be able to Shadow Flame with double power elming. Quality. That seems super strange. That can like, bite him in the ass, like really badly. Damn. Hmm. He does get to play Doctor Boom though, yeah. But I don't really see yeah. why. Hmm. I guess if if you know he's not playing like any big stuff. Did he just not attack because he's afraid of a possible molten? I don't think so, right? He did attack. He did attack with a, a, a Duke. Yeah, he attacked with everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, he attacked with everything. Good, good. Or did he did he not attack with the four one? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I did. I didn't look, but. Yeah. I, I would think it. he did. Like if he equal like it, that's just if he equalities he knows that he doesn't play molten giants. Like yeah, in my in my be. mind in my mind at least, but he does have a big game hunter, so I don't mm. know. Maybe he's he's playing around like uh, molten molten shadow flame, but that doesn't make sense because he can still molten shadow flame. So yeah. he must have attacked. Then. Yeah, I think so. He has to tap. Playing Maganus is not good. 
What is this play? Heal bot. Oh, dark bomb. He's not gonna tap? What do you mean heal bot? Oh. Owl. Yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Too much. And? Plus 4. I think that's one off. Yeah, one off lethal. Never lucky. <laughs> or? Yeah. He could get oh. a charger. Yeah, yeah. Charger. Yeah. Wow, the the Asmo spam. <laughs> the Asmo spam in chat is real. Let's Come see. on, do it. Do it for the team. No, nope, oh. not this time. Not this time. What does he top deck? Void caller. Not gonna do it. Nimsh is unfortunately out of the tournament here. No. And Asmo die advances in second place in group. Uh, I think it's like yeah, F F F yeah faceless. All right, I think that was really well played by Asmo. He did some he did mm. some he did some really nice plays. And the congratulations to him and all the all the Asmo fans in chat can keep spamming some other game. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this stream for now. Um, I guess there's gonna be a short break until the next the group next, starts. Yeah. Group H, where I'm gonna play, so you better w keep watching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm up next actually against Hoy, so definitely watch that. Alright, so thank you for watching. Be back soon.